Hello friends, welcome to our today's session on Apache Spark. In our today's video, we will see a simple word count program using Spark data frame. We had already seen the same scenario, uh, but we used Spark RDD like we used map and flat map transformations in Spark RDD to accomplish this word count program. But today we will solve it completely using Spark data frame. So why we are learning this if we are able to solve it in Spark RDD? We all know like in real time, we are most of the times using Spark data frame and we are avoiding Spark RDD. So it is good to know both the methods like uh, even in an interview as well, interviewer might be interested in asking you to solve this word count program either by using a Spark data frame or else by Spark RDD as well. So that being said, we will be using uh, Databricks as our platform and uh, PySpark to develop the uh, logic. So let us move on and see the demo. So we are into my Databricks community edition account. I have already started the cluster and also created the notebook for our demo. Let me select the cluster that is running. So I just now started it. So let me check whether the cluster is working fine. Hope you guys are able to see the screen. Let me make it bigger as well. Yes, we are good. So as I said earlier, this is a word count program using Spark data frame. If you are interested in uh, knowing how to solve this problem using Spark RDD, I will give the link in the i button as well as in description. Please go ahead and watch that video as well. And coming back, the sample data set that we are going to take today is a text file. So this text file has some content uh, about the learn to Spark page, like what it is all about. So this is the input that we are taking and uh, in my next step this text file i am directly reading it as a data frame you can see the output of the fs command so this is saying like this tutorial is exclusive for the people who are interested in making a footprint in top niche and uh, in the next step i am reading it as a data frame and i am using spark.read.text so this will be reading the text file that i am giving and it will have a single column getting created and the column name will be value let me show that as well so you can see here it is creating a data frame and uh, it is creating a value as a column name with string as data type and uh, here we go you can see i had displayed the data frame and uh, under the value you are having a entire text entire uh, text of the uh, uh, text file that we have so as a first method I will show you how to do it using uh, split and explode. So this will be straightforward bit. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the column value and I'm splitting it based upon the space that we have in between the uh, words. And then I'm using explode to convert the list into a uh, number of uh, records. And then I am applying a group by on top of words column and making a count. So let me display this. This is the first method using explode, split and call. So here we go. You can see we are able to get the data. And the second method is to use the UDF. So as you can see in my first method, we are using a group by option along with the explode as well so which makes it a bit expensive let us try to avoid this group by using the udf that's what we are going to try in our next step so i am importing the data types that i require first and then i am creating a udf and the output of this udf will be array type and inside that there will be another array type of string so what i am doing is 
same like i'm use, i'm going to use the uh, split and create a list and that list will be passed to this function and from that list i am going to take the number of occurrence of the words inside the list and i am going to return it back so that's how i'm going to do it in this uh, data frame i mean uh, in this function sorry so let me run this function and then uh, moving ahead so same like uh, here i am going to use uh, word count function the one which i declared above so here i am giving value column value split it by space and then i am giving it as a word count function and then i am again using explode option so here let me run this so you can see it has returned the same result but the difference is this took only 2.94 seconds whereas the above method it took 4.63 seconds so that is the difference so if the file is huge this might take a, a big deal in your uh, run time and also if you see we have avoided the group by as well so which is a main reason for our performance boost like uh, after exploding i am giving a with column uh, to have a, a word as a separate and count as a separate why this is just like let me show you in a separate command how this works in a so let me take this df with column alone and let me display it how this looks so that you will get a look and feel let me put dot display so the column word count will be of type list i mean like uh, it will be like this so you can see i have a word count column in which for each columns for each words i will have a word count for those things so like this i will be getting it from this again i am splitting the word as a separate column and the count as a separate column this is how we are doing it in our next step in our udf method hope you guys understood this please try this in your own machine and let me know if you face any issues i will be giving a link of my blog in the description from where you can get the uh snippets of this code as well as the data sets that i used here uh please do try this and let me know if you face any issues i'm happy to help you guys uh please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content thank you for watching